up uh, briefly today uh, in the book of Second Kings, Second chapter, verses one through, verse one through, verse seven. Seven Kings, seven, one through seven. Then Elijah said, Hear you the word of the Lord. Thus said the Lord, Tomorrow about this time shall a measure of fine flour be sold for a shackle, and two measures of olive for a shackle, in the gate of Samaria. Then the Lord of whom hand the king lead answered the man of God and said, Behold, if the Lord would make windows in heaven, might this thing be? And he said, Behold, thou shalt see it with thy eyes, but shalt not eat thereof. And thou wilt fall down men at the entrance in the gate. And they said one to another, Why set we here until we die? If we say we will enter into the city, then the famine is in the city, and we should die there. And if we say still here, we die also. Now therefore come and let us fall into the horse of the Syrians. If they save us alive, we should live. And if they kill us, we should die. And they rose up in trial to go into the camp of the Syrians. And when they were come to the uttermost part of the camp of the Syrians, behold, there was no man there. For the Lord had made the host of the Syrians to hear a noise of chariots and a noise of horses, even the noise of a great host. And they said one to another, Lo, the king of Israel have hired against us the king of the Hittites and the king of the Egyptians to come upon us. Wherefore they arose and flee in the twilight and left their tents and their horses and their asses, even the camp as it was, and flee for their life. I want to talk for a few moments from this subject, how to make the devil flee. How to make the devil flee. One of the things that I have, that I observe, one of the things that I understand in life is that most of us are always running from the devil. We're afraid of the devil. We act as if the devil has more power than we do. It, it seems to me that we have been taught that the devil can make us do things. And for you knowing the thing, we are saying stuff like the devil made me do it. But I don't want to let you know that the devil has no more power over you than you allow him to have. And the devil is more afraid of you than you really realize. First of all, God through Jesus has taken all the power away from the devil and has turned around and given you the power to be able to stand against all things. Now I just want to share tonight for a few moments and how to make the devil flee. How many of you know that before you leave here good, before you get home, the devil is going to be trying to make you do something that is contrary to the word of God. And the devil will do everything he can to make you say some things that you know that is not like or not really you. That and you have gotten to a place where you want to make sure that everything you say will be pleasing and acceptable unto God. But then that old devil will be around trying to get you to say some things that you know that you don't want to say. James 4 and 7 says, Submit yourself into God and resist the devil and he'll flee 
pump you. That's how simple it is to submit yourself unto God, resist the devil, and he will flee. That's the thing I have realized now that the devil can come around us and he can try to feed stuff to us, but he can't touch us and he can't make us do anything. What amazes me so much, my brothers and sisters, is how God will allow us to go through some stuff and then after we have been tested and tempted, then God will always come in and help us to escape that which we've been suffering with. It amazes me, Brother Tate, Pastor Tate, how the Lord has always delivered his children from bondage. And how he has always made a way for them and how he has always protected them even when they seem like they were all shot up or all done for and it looked like when there was no hope, God would always show up. I wonder if anybody in here who has ever been down to the last dime and didn't know where your next meal was going to come from, but some way, somehow, out of the plan of nowhere, God sent somebody to help you to get back to where you wanted to be. I wonder if there's anybody here who has suffered some time where they didn't know how they were going to pay their bills, but God Right? And then 
He made slaves out of them. And they treated them just like they were dogs. They treated them just like they were animals. But watch God. They began to pray and call on their Lord. Is there anybody here every now and then you just got to pray and call on the name of Jesus? You just don't know how? He does it, but you know that you got to call on him. And I'm going to stop by and tell you that sometimes you can call on him and it still seems like he doesn't answer. Every prayer does not always answer the same day you pray, the same week you pray. Sometimes you have to pray all Hello.